Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to interview Karen with Sweet Mary Jane, an alternative bakery here in Boulder, Colorado. Alasso will be interviewing her daughter, Lucien, and taking a trip down to her bakery to meet Steven, her head pastry chef. Let's get started. Karen, how did you guys get started? Um, I had just been reading a lot about alternative medicine and baking with that, with alternative medicines, and I became very interested in it. Uh, at the time, I didn't have money to start a business, but I had entered a baking contest, won, and decided to put the money into this kind of a business. So that's where Sweet Mary Jane was born. That's awesome. What was your first product that you guys actually made? The first product was called, we called it Walnut Fantasy, and it was a dark fudge brownie with caramelized walnuts on top, and it sold like crazy. And that's when we knew we've got something here. Well, we see this is a very difficult industry to get into. It's what were tough. some of the challenges you guys face getting into this industry? So this kind of industry uh, has a lot of rules and regulations. So there is a state mandated mark that we have to put onto every product. Um, there's special packaging, uh, CR packaging that has every product has to go into. Um, we have cameras that are in our kitchen at all times, making sure that everything is kosher. And yeah, I mean, the, the rules and regulations have been tough, but so far. And we're going to get to see some of those rules and regulations when we go down to your yes, kitchen. Yes, you absolutely are. What are some of the things that you do with the company? I work with um, sales and marketing and branding. Um, and at Sweet Mary Jane, we call ourselves a food first alternative medicine company. So we focus a lot on um, the experience of eating something delicious using these fun flavors that you guys at Amoretti make and creating these unique products. Um, that are approachable maybe to someone new to using alternative medicine or um, maybe something nostalgic that you've had in the past, but um, we say it's a mood food, so it makes you feel good and it tastes great. Awesome, so what made you decide to start using Amoretti flavors in your recipes? Well, we started to research some new flavors that we wanted to do and we thought, how do we do that? And, I looked into a bunch of different extract companies and I feel like my lucky day was when I found Amoretti and talked to you and you started sending us samples and told us how to work with them. And it's just, it's been a game changer. It was one of one of your favorite products to work with us. I think cake batter is the most brilliant <laughs> thing ever. I <laughs> love that extract. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. But I mean, also at the things like cajeta, horchata, I mean, we've just been thrilled with everything. It, you know, when we get an Amoretti product, if it says horchata, that's what we get. We know that your products are, you know, bold and rich and bright, and there's this flavor explosion when you bite into it. So yeah, we're super happy. Would you say that we've helped you in the way of growing your business, growing your rise of looking to make new products, your, your imagination. Absolutely, because I mean, before, you know, thinking about things that, I mean, how would you make horchata without an horchata extract? You know, what would you do there? So this has been a big game changer. The other thing for us is working with a company. I mean, we know you guys are on our side. You want us to succeed, you help us. So that's been super important for us. So if anybody was looking to find you guys' products, and those are a very difficult market to shop in, how would they find you guys? Um, our products are available in Colorado at um, alternative medical and retail shops across the state. Love your packaging, by the way. Thank you. Very, very good packaging. Yeah, so one of the big um, pushes behind our packaging was to have something, because um, at the shops here, you have to, um, stand across a counter and someone will help you out. So it, the reason for all those bright colors was for something to kind of grab your attention um, when you can't actually walk up to the product and grab it yourself and see what it's about. And I see this is a family operation here. It is, Lucy is my daughter. That's good, Amoretti is a family owned company as well. We pride yes. ourselves on that. Yeah. So that's been, I mean, having her here has been just wonderful. It's been really good for us. 
And are you too satisfied with the state of the way the business is going now and in the future? It's a tough industry, but I think, yes, we're satisfied. I mean, there's things that I would like to see happen. Um, so mm -hmm. we're kind of waiting for some changes and we hope they come through. But right now, yeah, I think we're on a good course. What other flavorings did you guys use in the past before Amoretti? Truthfully, I mean, we started out with just vanilla because I didn't know about all this exciting stuff. And then I started researching and we found a couple of other companies and tried them and we were not thrilled. And then we found you guys and then we were thrilled and started making all these really exciting things because you had the flavorings that we could use to make stuff that was sort of only a dream. I mean, how do you make this without an extract? Awesome. So what are some of the confectionaries that we're going to see when we go downstairs? So um, horchata cookies, which we use your horchata and cajeta extracts. We have chocolate bars and we have a ton of flavors and every single one of them uses Amoretti extracts. Milkshake and fries. Um, we have strawberry crumble. French toast. French toast, yeah. French toast. French, which, I'm excited for that one. Yeah, that's one of our most popular. And maybe you can answer a question for some of our beginner users out there. What is the best product to use when making and flavoring chocolate? Would it be our water-soluble extracts or oil-soluble extracts? Absolutely oil for all of the chocolates. Yeah, got to use oil. And would you say you're satisfied with the variety that we offer with the oil-soluble? Absolutely. I mean, you've had everything that we need. Awesome. So we're going to cover some of the extracts that you guys use from our company. Okay. What is your favorite extract from us? Oh, my favorite? I mean, there's so many, but I think my very favorite, because I think it's just so brilliant, is the cake batter. Cake batter. I mean, cake batter? How great is that? You can make a chocolate bar. What we did is we put it into a chocolate bar and we called it, we put some caramelized nuts on top and we called it a coffee cake bar. Nice. What are some of the other ones that you use? I know that we send you guys a lot of the caramel. Oh, we use a lot of the caramel that goes into our salted caramel cookies. Um, I don't know if we use that in any of our chocolates, but um, Milkshake and Fries uses the creme de coco and uh, French Toast has the maple. Yeah. Our maple extract. Yes. Okay. And then we had, uh, what, we had one that we were using your, um, the Mexican coffee and Mexican cinnamon. Delicious. So we did notice that with some people in your industry that they have to cover the flavor up by using a lot of extracts or a lot of flavoring to do that. Do you guys experience that same problem when using Emirati products? No, the flavor is so concentrated that we have to use very little of it. And also, like I said, it's very bright and bold and gives us that flavor explosion. And what's one of your favorite things about ordering with Emirati besides dealing with myself? Oh, is there anything else, Terrence? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, just the service has been great. The products get here so fast. You always mention, hey, this is something new that we've come up with. Would you like to try that? So samples come our way. We can put them in our products and see, is this something that we can use? And it usually is. And I mean, you guys are so kind and friendly and yeah, it's, you're just a really wonderful company to work with. Oh, we appreciate that. And we appreciate the business as well. Well, we've been working with you for what, six years now? Six years. Yeah, so that says something. And also, I do want to <laughs> say that the sales of our products speak for themselves. I mean, it, it shows. We use your product, we make good stuff, everybody likes it, and yeah. yeah so some of the benefits like being kosher, being natural, mm -hmm. being that's compliant a, already, yeah, that's, helps you guys go a long way further. It makes it easier on your side. Absolutely. Yeah. So when you need a COA, you need a certificate of analysis. You got that you to need us immediately. SDS sheets. We have everything there already. Your kosher certificate, we already have it there and we've already had it to where it streams like your process much quicker. Well, every time we order, you send that to us. I mean, it comes right away. So, yeah. Well, I'll personally say it's been a pleasure working with both of you guys. Yeah. I appreciate what you guys do. And I'm looking forward to Sweet Mary Jane creating very beautiful, delectable treats. Oh, thank you. Yes. And we want to try all that new stuff that you guys have coming out.